First Amazon, now Disney. Now, if you told me Disney would pull something like this, I would have believed you. And the funniest thing is, is that this happens like two or three days after after I make my video. Okay, so it's been four days, never mind. Four days after I make my video about how Amazon was deleting reviews of the Rings of Power to try to make people think that people were liking it and that it wasn't that the backlash was all just racist trolls and all that other bullshit. But okay, now Disney hasn't done that because what they're trying to cover up hasn't come, doesn't come out till tomorrow, but on the trailers for the live action Pinocchio, they have turned the comments off because they were getting destroyed. Now, originally they did not turn the comments off on the first trailer, even though it got ratioed to hell. I'm going to be, like, I don't know how, like, up-to-date these are, because these are going to be, because you'd need, like, a Chrome extension for, uh, to be able to see the dislike bar, and I don't have one currently. So, I'm taking the, so I'm using, like, a screenshot from, uh, I don't know how old this screenshot is, but it's not that old. It's from a fairly recent video that 52,000 upvotes to 512,000 downvotes on that first teaser trailer that everybody rightfully savaged. And originally they did not turn the comments off, but recently they have, or well, they didn't, they didn't originally turn the comments off, but pretty much every comment you saw was praising the movie. Like, oh, this looks so great, I can't wait to see it, despite the fact it was getting ratioed to hell. So, that showed that they were deleting the negative comments, because that would have been flooded with them. 512,000 downvotes, five times more, or no, no, ten times more downvotes than upvotes, and you're going to tell me all the comments are positive? Give me a goddamn break. And now, with the second trailer that came out roughly two weeks ago, I want to say, August 24th, 2022, about two weeks... It, this one is also getting ratio 39,000 upvotes to 99,000 downvotes. And they have turned the comments off because obvious reasons. This is, just, again, this is just so fucking cowardly. This is the most cowardly shit I've ever seen in my entire life. Now, the, rings, the stuff with the Rings of Power was worse because... Because there's a difference between turning comments off on a video and deleting reviews to hide the fact that people didn't like it. Like, you're not gonna, like, if people have the, this, like, Chrome extension, which I'm probably gets at some point so I can actually, so I don't have to use other people's videos as a reference for stuff like this. But you're not gonna be able to hide the dislike counter on there anymore, despite the fact that they desperately tried by basically trying to remove it. But the the simple fact is is that people know when it's getting rid that doesn't mean anything, but if you're gonna delete negative reviews, that's just what people are gonna think people are gonna think that people are liking it. There's a difference between there's a difference between the two. That's what I'm trying to say. And I didn't really need to explain it, but whatever. But again, this is just another example of these studios becoming so freaking cowardly because they know what they're they know what they're putting out as garbage. They have to know, but they don't care because they're pushing an agenda and they already pay. They're it, it's like they're gonna make money from it regardless, even though. The Rings of Power viewership was not as high as they were hoping. And this Pinocchio remake, I critics will probably end up liking it because it's Disney and critics whore themselves out to Disney. But the audiences are going to tear this thing apart. And I have a feeling I will too. Tomorrow I'm going to end up watching this on Disney+. Plus. I'm going to watch the original Pinocchio tonight. I haven't seen that movie in years. I remember hating it as a kid. I haven't seen it since I was a little kid. So I'll probably check that out tonight and watch the remake tomorrow. Or watch the remake today, depending on when this video gets out. It might come out in the morning and then the, the review might come out later in the day. It just depends. Because this will end up being a late upload. But it's a short video, so maybe it won't take that long. But I digress. So, I, I can't believe studios sink this low. Like, Disney, like, 
And it's the weird thing about this, the weirdest thing about it, is that this doesn't often happen with Disney. Despite pretty much everybody except their shills hating them and their content, they usually don't get ratioed like this. Even the Rise of Skywalker trailer still has the positive ratio by quite a bit. And that was not only a movie everybody hated, but a movie a lot of people pretty much knew was going to be bad before they even went to the theater. So it's, because again, the trailers were just kind of meh, and it made it clear that the Emperor was a total cock tease, that he was just here to sucker old fans back in. And it didn't work, as that was one of the lower grossing Star Wars films of the last decade. So... Yeah, this Pinocchio remake is going to be trash. We all know this. I already did a video on the first trailer, so you all know how I thought about it. I didn't do one on the second trailer because it was just more of the same. The CGI still looks like shit. They still race swapped the Blue Fairy and made her look like Jada Pinkett Smith. So, and it's just not Pinocchio. It just seems more like Geppetto the movie or Jiminy Cricket the movie. So, featuring Pinocchio, so... I don't know. This movie's gonna suck, and Disney, and now even Disney knows it. So, yeah, that's all I got, and I guess I'll see you at the Pinocchio re review.